what could be better than a roast dinner? For many it's the best meal of the week, not just because of its delicious ingredients but because a roast is guaranteed to bring friends and family together. The question of what should be included in a roast dinner, however, is another matter and the hotly contested subject of the McCain Great Roast debate. Everyone has their own traditions, but also it seems, very strongly held opinions on what should and should not have a place on their plate. And while we all seem to agree that roast potatoes are an absolute must, there are some additions which have divided the nation. Now two male online food writers have joined the debate, arguing for and against the most controversial subjects in this very British row about roasts. But who do you agree with? Should Yorkshire puds be served with the chicken? According to research carried out by McCain and one poll, 76% of the nation say Yorkshire puddings with chicken are OK. Do our writers agree? Alice Smelly, 44, lives in Somerset with her husband, Justin, 49 and their three children, Archie, 12, Oscar, 11 and Laura, 9. The Sunday roast is as much a part of their week as the school run and dog, walks. She says, the Sunday roast is the most joyful meal of the week, and, in my house, it's the one occasion when we all sit down and savour the food without rushing off to clubs or meetings. For this reason, I firmly feel that Sunday is the day you can eat whatever you like. Obviously, a Yorkshire pudding is perfect, with a joint of beef, but I also believe it's perfectly acceptable with the chicken. Feelings run so strongly about this issue that the Oxford Union actually debated the point three years ago. They didn't reach a conclusion, but with our poll showing 76% of people think it's acceptable, the answer is quite clear. Joanne Gould, 32, lives in North London with her husband Richard, also 32, son Leo, 3, and daughter, Viola, 1, who are all keen advocates of a Sunday lunch and have been known to eat 2 kilograms of roast potatoes, between them. She says, Yorkshire puddings go with roast beef and roast beef alone. Roast beef is an expensive treat, and should be respected as such, which is after all, how Yorkshire's came about in the first place. Piles of them were served ahead of the meat to take the edge off of the appetite. These days, to my amazement, it seems almost anything goes if three-quarters of the British public believe Yorkshire puddings are an appropriate plate fellow to a delicious roast chicken. Would you serve a bread sauce with your roast, pork? A side of crackling with a leg of lamb? When will this madness end? Does sweet corn ever belong with a roast? 25% of the British public are baffled by sweet corn, served with a roast. Is this vegetable acceptable in your household? Alice says, all families have Sunday lunch quirks, but sweet corn as a side dish is baffling. Funnily enough, a couple of weeks ago, I served a medley of sweet corn, carrots and peas with the roast beef. It looked so garishly out of place that I was relieved when the bowl was almost instantly emptied by the children. Sweet corn is too sweet and too yellow. It belongs with tuna in a jacket potato. It has no place on my Sunday table. But I am a complete hypocrite, as I'll argue against sweet corn but personally. I love a dollop of mayonnaise and sometimes a little slosh of ketchup, I know, with my roast. All perfectly normal. Not like sweet corn. 
Joe says, a roast dinner is an excellent way to gorge on lots and lots of veg, happy and safe and the knowledge that your meal is healthy, colorful and nutritious. Red cabbage, peas, some nice roast parsnips, even fancy cavolo nero, asparagus and good old mashed sweet are welcome on my roast dinner plate. So, I was amazed to hear that 25% of us find a few spoonfuls of sweet corn to be an abhorrent addition to a Sunday roast. How could such an inoffensive little vegetable cause such an outrage? Sweet corn is packed with fiber and vitamins galore and yet are not welcome with your roast chicken whilst flipping, Yorkshire's are? What is the world coming to? Should a roast be swimming in gravy? 28% of the nation say they don't scrimp on the gravy. Do you like your Sunday dinner covered in the stuff? Alice says, we smellies are gravy obsessives. When we visit friends and relatives my husband isn't allowed the gravy jug until everyone else has served themselves, as he invariably finishes it off. This, rich, savory liquid brings together all the components of the meal otherwise, it's just some meat and vegetables on a plate. I'd be honest, I'm a bit horrified that less than a third of us attach the same importance to gravy. As someone who always makes two to three times as much as you'd think necessary, this is quite odd. What is more scrummy, after all, than the last roast potato lightly mashed into gravy, with your fork and run around the plate for a final, delicious mouthful. Joe says, now don't get me wrong. A roast dinner without a decent boat full of gravy is not a roast dinner, worth having. But things are getting out of hand here. Gravy should be made using the delicious natural juices from your joint of meat and unless you're cooking up half an animal, you're unlikely to come away with more than a pint or so of gravy. This is an ample amount for a typical family roast, meaning that everyone has enough for a healthy drizzle of proper gravy to moisten their meat and dip their roasties into. Plates utterly swimming in the stuff will only create mushy potatoes and soggy Yorkshires. Yuck! Have some restraint. Should a roast lamb be rare? Only 5% of Britons said they like their lamb rare compared with 32% liking it well done. Do our writers like it pink in the middle? Alice says, much as I love meat, I object to it being too bloody. This isn't because of any ethical objections, I am careful to buy organic and free-range produce, but because the texture of well-cooked meat is simply more pleasant. Red meat has a moist, slimy texture, whereas well-cooked lamb is more solid and pleasant to chew. Although 32% of people agree with me, fortunately I don't know any of them. When we're at a friend's house for lunch, nobody ever says ooh, really well-cooked, please, which means I get what I want every time. Joe says, hearing that a mere 5% of us eat our roast lamb rare is deeply upset me. This means that everyone else is plowing their way through grey, dried out old pieces of sheep that must be eons away from being in any way enjoyable. We Brits are spoilt with some of the best lamb in the world in this country. And yet apparently most of us are incinerating the poor things beyond any shade of pink. Spring lamb is a beautiful, sweet and delicate meat and cooking it any further than blushing means you're losing its subtle flavor. Anybody scared of a bit of blood on their plate just needs to pay closer attention to resting times. Try it. You'll never look back. Are roast potatoes a must-have? A whopping 85% of people agree that no Sunday dinner is complete without roast potatoes. What do our writers think and can they finally agree on something?
Ellis says, even more vital than gravy quantities is the importance of sufficient roast potatoes. My, whole family adores them so much that the moment they emerge from the oven someone will try to snaffle, one. 85% of people say that a Sunday roast just isn't complete without divine, crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside roast potatoes. I find this a confusing statistic. Who on earth are the 15% who don't? Of course the potato is crucial. There is a scientific law, specific to roast, potato quantity however many you make, there will be none left by the end of the washing up. Joe says, one thing we can all agree on is that roast potatoes are an absolute necessity and can make, or break a mediocre roast. The perfect specimen should be golden, perfectly crisp with extra crunchy, bits and have a soft, fluffy interior. But most importantly, there must be plenty of them. There is no, worse Sunday crime than not serving an adequate supply of roasties. So finally our writers are in agreement. No roast dinner is complete without a large amount of delicious, roast potatoes. And McCain roasties are made just like you would at home. They're peeled, chopped, softened and basted, in beef dripping, ready to be finished to perfection in the oven. So getting that crispy on the outside, fluffy in the inside quality couldn't be easier. Which side are you on in the great roast debate? Have your say now on McCain's Facebook and Will a visit to the McCain Raya Stour and help you settle the great roast debate? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.